viewers i discuss today this hilbert space and to greet the idea of hilbert space we needed the concept of banach space and complex banach space so we already know what banach space is banach space is a complete nonlinear space and we know these properties of all nonlinear spaces already now we consider as h as a hilbert space and it is a complex banach space we require the tools of this banach space p requirement and if we are taking the inner product space next component there is a inner product space given as x y and this h is called a hilbert space if a complex number system that's the inner product space is the inner product of x and y and this x y are vector in nature we are taking uh, in such a way that first component is uh, number one option that's the x y whole bar this is a property at first we are discussing this idea then we construct our definition of hilbert space let's watch till the end so x y whole bar that will be y bar x bar and next is this is a dot product or scalar product or inner product actually it's a definition criteria x1 y1 plus x2 y2 up to xn yn if in a total vector that's if we considering this is a n dimensional space then we are taking in this manner if two dimension we are restricted with 2 3 2 3 in this way and now basically dot product this is the first this is a complex conjugate x y bar this complex conjugate equals to this and next criteria that is a alpha x is a property of linearity beta y z and if we are breaking it that is a, this is dot alpha x plus beta y dot z it's a linearity property so alpha x dot z plus beta y dot z and that can be easily treated in this manner if we are taking in this way if there are nth components say alpha x dot z so x1 x2 xn be the component of x then suddenly it will be alpha x1 dot z1 plus alpha x2 dot z2 up to alpha xn dot zn taking we are taking alpha common as x1 dot z1 x2 dot z2 that's a scalar product and xn dot zn so it will be alpha into x vector dot z so in this way we can write it as um, uh, it in this manner and if we are taking in this way like this alpha dot z this alpha dot alpha x1 dot z1 plus alpha x2 dot z2 up to alpha xn dot zn taking alpha common in this manner alpha into x1 dot z1 plus x2 dot z2 up to xn dot zn alpha common and we are taking this is b this will be converted to x dot z so finally we write in this manner this result can be put in the form of alpha dot x z and similarly this result can be form of beta dot y z firstly we are writing this result so finally we write uh, second result alpha x plus beta y dot z that will be alpha into x dot z plus beta into y dot z now next result that's x dot x already it's clear that if we are taking this component x1 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 dot x1 plus x2 dot x2 nth component up to xn dot xn 
so it will be converted as x1 square plus x2 square up to xn square and finally it can be written as norm of x whole square this is the definition of norm so three property exist and all these properties we are using uh, in cases that for all x y and z belonging to the hilbert space h and for all scalar alpha and beta are the scalar and for all scalar alpha and beta we are finding this result so finally we construct our definition of hilbert space or part of definition let h be a hilbert space actually be a complex banner space specially not right hilbert space we are declaring complex banner space complex banner space and then h is called a hilbert space a hilbert space if a complex number a complex number x dot y that's a x y simply x plus i y form called the inner product inner product of x and y is associated is associated to each of the to each of the two vectors x and y such that these three criteria first one is x dot y whole but that's a it's a complex conjugate y x for the second criteria number two alpha x plus beta y dot z that is alpha of x dot z plus beta of y dot z and third criteria that is x dot x that is a norm of x at whole square for all x y z all are belonging to h and for all scalars alpha and beta the two will hold so in this way we end our discussion today if you like this video like it share it and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching